Now, I remember we had a weekend where we went out to dinner. She was feeling great, just had the baby. Um, so she was breastfeeding. And that was a Saturday night. We went out to dinner with my brother. And then Sunday, I think she started feeling just a little bit off, uh, but not a big deal. She went to bed a little early. And I remember coming home from work Sunday night and my brother John was over and she looked terrible. And then come Wednesday morning, you know, she was pasty white and she's like, geez, you know what, I just can't do this anymore. I gotta go to the hospital. We go to South Shore Hospital, pull up to emergency right in front. I just left my truck there, got one of those carts, wheeled her in and she looked awful. The triage nurse came over um, and it was pretty quick, actually, maybe within five minutes. And I said, can you just take a quick peek here? And she looked at her, she said, oh boy. She wheeled her to the lo location there, the triage location, and she, I'll never forget it, she put the um, automatic uh, uh, blood pressure um, thing on it, and she got 55 over 26, something like that. And she said, whoa, this is not right. And then she said, I'm gonna do it one more time. And she did it again. And same thing, you know, 55 over 26, something like that. She's like, get her in there right now. They brought her up to uh, intensive care. Um, and then uh, it was all kind of downhill from there. She, you know, they, they started doing all their tests. Come to find out she had the pneumococcal pneumonia uh, that went right into you know, kidney failure. Actually, she came in with kidney failure. Um, kidney failure, uh, the pneumococcal pneumonia. She was full-blown sepsis. So I would say uh, the, f the second week, I figured out that this is the big deal. Uh, in fact, we sat with Dr. Kumar. That was kind of an interesting story in and of itself. So I, when I left his office, I knew I was in big trouble. And I remember him saying, he said, Seth, he said, this is like, uh, this is like Katrina coming through. And he said, Katrina came through and the storm is gone. You know, we've killed the bug, but it's left this wake of destruction here that uh, it's pretty extensive. And I asked him, I said, well, what's, what are the odds here? And he said, about 50-50. He said, Seth, <clears throat> he said, here, here on the sixth floor, <laughs> all I can do is treat the symptoms. He said, <laughs> any healing that goes on, happens above the sixth floor. Which, you know, I think was <clears throat> somewhat modest, you know, somewhat true and somewhat modest, you know. <laughs> you know they, they did a lot of treating and they made a lot of tough calls. It's, it's hard to describe every little thing that happened and, you know, some days walking in, you know, you'd, you'd feel so down and, you know, Bob Horn would walk in, a, a respiratory therapist, grew up 10 doors down from me in Hanover. Little things like that made a huge difference, you know, in all the times we've ever gone to MGH, they were good, they were great. <clears throat> Nobody ever walked in that you knew. It was such a huge sense of comfort in addition to the good work that was going on. Dr. Pearson came in one day and uh, he came over to me. He said, uh, he said, we've we saved her. And, you know, you, you couldn't tell by looking at her that she was saved. She looked terrible. Um, uh, but she said, Seth, he said, Seth, we, we, we saved her. He said, congratulations, she's going to be fine. And uh, gave me a, a big hug. You know, that was a good day. The little details. I, I think the quality of care was as good as you're going to get anywhere. But the, the difference was all around the edges. You, you, you know, you got... Um, high level of personal contact with the doctors. You got nurses and doctors that were in fact your neighbors. You got um, a location that was incredibly convenient f 
for people. Uh, and I think it's, it's those things that are around the edges that are sometimes the thing that gets you through. Um, and in my case, I think it was. I remember getting into the truck and it was cold and raw. And I said to Seth, this is like Christmas times a thousand. There are just no words. I can't believe I'm going home. I'd been cooped up and just so missing my life and my boys and South Shore Hospital has become for us one of the best reasons to live here where we do. And it's extraordinarily comforting to know that if we need it, we have excellent care right up the road with people that we live around that care about the outcome in a different way than the bigger hospitals do. And I honestly don't know if we would be sitting here had we gone elsewhere. By saving me, they really actually saved my boys. They were a lifeline.